If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. And praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We got some big news coming from David Benavidez. Yes, sir. It looks like we are about to get some David on David crime, man. David Benavidez has announced that he will be fighting David Morrell, man, in the near future man starting at next year the early part is speculated for january 25th to add some further specificity but that date has not been finalized so but those of you that are you know familiar with my channel you know that one of my favorite fighters my favorite fighter right now my favorite active fighter is saul canelo alvarez aka cinnamon man and you know that this man has earned my fandom and stuff like that but i'm not one of those weirdos that think that in order for me to like canelo i have to hate benavidez you dumbass i don't feel compelled to pick a side i like them both i like canelo more and i think canelo beats benavidez but i want that fight to happen i think it's one that's one of the biggest fights in boxing you know i like canelo because i believe that he could beat almost anybody you know what i'm saying and i, I and, and he shows that it demonstrates that in the ring that's what i want to see and i think he'll beat benavidez too but benavidez is hard to dislike this guy i don't know how people dislike him he always seems to say the right things and do the right things and this is an example of him doing the right thing you know what i'm saying so let's look at canelo right for whatever reason canelo has not, does not want to fight david benavidez and he, in my opinion he's earned that he's a face of boxing he could do whatever he wants whether we like it or not he's earned that right you know that's the position that he's in you know he doesn't want to fight david benavidez and instead of david benavidez sitting around and sulking he's moving on with his career he moved up to 175 and so did david morrell and he knows that everybody wants to see david benavidez versus david morrell so he's like hey man i'm not gonna uh, um withhold that fight from you all i'm gonna do the fans a service and i'm gonna give you the give the fans a fight that they want you know so i think he's kind of sticking it to canelo and saying hey, man you know i'm not gonna be like the person that i feel like is not giving me or the fans what they want i'm gonna go the opposite route and i'm gonna give the fans what they need right now and this is what i want man this fight is spectacular i'm not gonna lie man david benavidez needs to be applauded because the risk does not match the reward you know what i'm saying david morrell he is a regular champion for the WBA, but he's not recognized as the real champion, right? Obviously, that would be Dimitri Bivol. In fact, Dimitri Bivol and Arthur Benderbiev are fighting for light heavyweight dominance and undisputed the undisputed crown uh, this weekend. So they have the real belts, you feel what I'm saying? So there's really no point to fight David Morrell. I think David Morrell, he has a handful of fights, two handful of fights, right? I think he has, what, 12, 11 or 12 fights. So he's not really known like that. But David Benavidez recognizes his how good he is, and he recognizes that the people want this fight, and he has given it to us. And shout out to David Morrell as well. They're both undefeated. He also has to get some credit for accepting the fight too, you know. So big salute to both Davids, man. They're doing their thing. It's on January 25th, you know. As of right now, like I said, it has not been finalized. But man, this is this is great, man. Like I said, there's a lot of great fights in boxing. This is one of them, and I think that you know we're about to see Arthur better be of a Dimitri Bivol. In my opinion, this is the best fight in boxing in a while. We just saw Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk to establish the first heavyweight undisputed in uh, what a quarter century, 25 years. You know, so that was another great fight. There's been spectacular fights all across the board, man. And you know, this is just gonna add to it. You know, good Lord willing, next year, man. So. Bro, boxing is in a great place, man. So shout out to David Benavidez, David Morrell for making this happen. And also, if that wasn't good enough for you, uh, apparently we may be getting, what's his name? Jose El Rayo Valenzuela, the Lightning versus Isak Pipple, Pipple Cruz, potentially on the undercard of David versus David. Man. Tell me that's not fire. Now, now once again, as before this fight has not been finalized nor the date but that's what they're speculating right now man so if this comes into fruition we can get david benavidez versus david morrell with uh, rio valenzuela versus pitbull cruz on the undercard man and not to mention the other fights that are probably gonna be on that card as well only time will tell man so hey we gotta applaud these davids man big salute to them for making it happen to el monstro this is a fire fight man i'm telling you man 175 now y'all know y'all want my premature prediction it's tough man because at 168 if this fight would have happened i always said that i had david benavidez just 
just from an experience standpoint, you know, he's a more seasoned fighter. But at 175, neither one of them looked too impressive. But I think that David Davide's opponent in Alexander Vazic was a little more difficult than Hot Rod Kalazic, who was Morel's uh, uh, debut opponent at 175. And Alexander Vazic being the champion, you know, taking out uh, Adonis Superman Stevenson. You know, great fighter that is a Haitian board Canadian there. So that was a great win. Um, man, it, it, it's tough, bro. But I think, in my opinion now, just off, off the cuff. No thought, no no thought, no deep analysis, nothing. Just going off the cuff, I might lean towards David Morrell. Because in my opinion, David Morrell's physique and his body type seems a little bit more appropriate for 175 than what I saw with David Benavidez. That's all I'm going off of now. You know, it's not much, but I'm going to do my further analysis later. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you a more definitive answer. But right now, today, I'm leaning towards David Morrell. Even though I think David Benavidez should be the favorite you know because he deserves that you know so let me know what y'all think about that in the comments remember with god we can do anything without god or nothing and i'm in florida right now man we going through the hurricane i'm bringing you these news uh so i'm bringing you this news so y'all be safe you know what I'm saying whether you're going through a hurricane or otherwise you know life is crazy so just be be safe out there man y'all be easy take care of yourselves the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets